If you're anything like me, you spend way too much time trying to make a grocery list or spending way too much money on food without really a plan. So I came up with this pretty crazy spreadsheet to handle all of our meal planning. Uh, I made it like four years ago and I've had a lot of people asking me, is it compatible with Google Sheets? It wasn't uh, until now. So I just wanted to kind of put it out there and, sh and show what this thing can do. I've added a lot more features compared to my last one that I made. And so if you've already seen that, great, you'll see a lot of cool things. If you haven't, this is a whole new experience for you, but it's uh, it's pretty it's pretty ingenious. Um, you can get your meal planning done in 10, 15 minutes, have all of the groceries you need and ready to go to the store or even order online. If that sounds intriguing at all, just sit tight for a couple minutes and I will kind of show you how it works. And then I will do longer videos and tutorials on the kind of the whole thing. And I'm going to post those links down below. So here we go. Okay, so this is the main screen. This is where all the groceries kind of show up and where you do your menu for up to four weeks. I'm gonna go through this kind of page by page and kind of show you the features quickly. Some of them might be a little vague because again, I don't wanna get in too much detail. I'm gonna do those in other videos. So let's just quickly create our menu from the recipes that I have currently. You can do a full menu up to four weeks, um, breakfast, lunch, dinner, and a side dish. You can use side dish for your essentials, maybe toilet paper or Kleenex or broom or you know whatever. You can also use it as dessert. I've got chocolate chip cookies in there. You can use it kind of for whatever you want um, or you can use it for a side dish. I'm gonna do a quick seven day menu, kind of show you how it works. So, hey, cinnamon rolls for breakfast, why not? Um, JB, JB pancakes, some cereal, sausage sandwich, um, fried pot hash, buttermilk pancakes, there we go, seven. You can kind of see the things populating already in the grocery list. It does go a little bit slow, depends on your internet connection because it does go out there and, and the universe and sometimes it takes a little bit longer to populate let's say lunch let's do quesadillas maybe it's like peanut butter and jelly over and over again with some meat sandwiches for because it's it's a school day top ramen and corn dogs so there's our seven days for lunch let's get our seven days for dinner i have a lot more of these let's do an alfredo maybe a taco soup farmer's pork chops chicken casserole. Again, you would probably spend just a little bit more time than I'm doing. I'm literally just picking, not thinking. There's our dinner. Let's say I want some Spanish rice, maybe some uh, chocolate chip cookies, uh, maybe a some broccoli bag salad. And you know what? I don't need a side for the other days. Why not? As you can see, all of my groceries just populated. They're all here. Okay, the next feature I want to show you really quickly is this cost. Now, this is a very, very rough estimated cost on what these groceries are going to cost me. It is based on a on a per unit basis from a website that I did like four years ago. So it probably needs to be updated. All that can be updated in the ingredients tab right here. We have the cost per stock. So this is beef ribs. $2.99 per pound that may change depending on where you where you live and like I said it's been four years the prices probably have gone up uh, deli ham it's per ounce and it all depends on what the recipes themselves call for anyway I don't want to get too far into that but um, just know that is a very very rough cost it is more like a ballpark number for your sanity to realize how much am I going to be spending this little section right here is where you add a new recipe which again i'm not going to show you that right now i will show you in another video you can add your own recipes into the spreadsheet now this remove check boxes is so if you are out shopping i added these little check boxes next to the item so that if you're at the store and you have your phone with you you can click on the items because this is a google sheets so you can access it from your phone right 
So I will, you can see both my hands, but I'm trying to turn to you, but you can see as I'm clicking, I'm just check boxing these boxes on here while I'm at the grocery store to say, I got that item. So if you shop with your phone or if you still go into the grocery store, you have the ability to check box. Instead of having it come back in and uncheck all the boxes, that's what this little button down here is for. It just goes through, wipes out the check boxes so you can go on with your day. That's kind of the nuts and bolts of the grocery list. That's the, that's the cool part. Um, I will show you some other key features in here that are pretty awesome. Like I said, this, this ingredients tab, this is where all the ingredients are. You have your cost in here. You also have a stock. I already, I have a hundred stock chicken breast. I don't, but that's a number just I have in there so that when you are here and it's telling you chicken breasts, you need for the, for what the, your menu says, you need four and a half pounds chicken breast. However, because you have so much stock, you actually need to, need to buy zero. So you can go through your ingredients tab, add the stock that you have in all the ingredients, and then you will know on the main tab how much you actually need to buy. That's pretty much it for the ingredients tab. This is where you would add new ingredients. You give it a unit, you can give it a cost. Okay, so this is the data tab where you can see at a glance what each recipe costs. It was kind of a eye opener to see what things cost, how much like this lasagna up here is almost $30 for the family. While this quiche that my wife got from a Romney cookbook, uh, is only $5 and 85 cents for our family to make. So it's, it's a really good place when, if you're budgeting or meal planning and want to keep things cheap is to kind of see which recipes cost more. And so you can either stay away from them or splurge if you want to. So this little section over here on the right is a place to find out which one of your recipes have a certain ingredient. So let's say you're in, you have, you're looking in the pantry, you're like, wow, I've got some extra black beans. What uses black beans? Oh, taco soup. Taco Sundays, black bean, taco soup, and cilantro lime rice. And there's another one down there. So kind of at a glance, maybe you dethawed some chicken breast and you want to know, oh, shoot, I need to know it has chicken breast. Well, I've got a lot of recipes in here with chicken breast. They just glow green. And then you can see at a, at a quick glance what has what in it. Let's say you want to go to the recipe. You can click whichever one of these that you want and you just say go to recipe and then it'll bring up that grocery tab. It brings up that recipe. I have a section right there for you to put the actual, either an image, you can type it out, whatever, but this is that recipe. And then you can close it and it'll take you right back. And then for all of you online shoppers, I have Walmart, Costco, and Fred Meyer built in. You don't shop at Walmart, Costco, or Fred Meyer, and there's maybe another store that does online buying. I could potentially come up with something, some other tab for more stores. But right now, these are just the ones that I shop at. So let's go to Walmart. Let's say there's only a few things that I want to buy at Walmart. Let's say I want lunch meat, bacon, garlic, Yukon potatoes, and lettuce. Let's say those are the ones I want at Walmart. I can right click and go to open links. What it does is it opens up and searches in Walmart all of the items that you just highlighted. You can that also works on your phone by the way. If you have the Walmart app, it'll open up the app if you if you tell it to open the app. So what I can do is let's just add to cart, close the window. Yukon potatoes, add to cart, close the window. Garlic Add to cart, close the window. You would probably be more selective when you're doing this, but I am just trying to demonstrate. Lunch meat, add to cart. So what it did was it added all of those items. I had a few in there already, apparently. So I have uh, 16 items instead of the five or whatever I just chose. But as you can see, it just adds everything to your cart. You can check out your meal planning and your groceries are done in 15, 20 minutes. And if you do it online this way, you could check out in no time and be ready to go. Again, all of that can be done with your phone. You can select your menu from your phone. You can buy online with your phone with 
Walmart, Costco, and Fred Meyer, or you can do it from the computer. It's easier on the computer. But that's the main functions of this Google Spreadsheets. I built it in a sense to kind of create a community, whether it be your family, whether it be friends, to share recipes and to be able to meal plan effectively and quickly and get that time back that we're all missing. Please hit that subscription. Come feel free to ask me live on Twitch. I can demonstrate and answer any questions whenever I'm online. My live schedule on Twitch is down below. I hope this sheet helps you and uh, take care.